my friends thanks so much for coming back to my channel today so I have a look that I seen in my phone that I decided to create mm -hmm. so if you like how I achieved this look then let's just keep on watching so as you can see I already did my eyebrows and set my eyes off camera and of course I was using the Benefit Cabral um, pomade in shade 5 number 5 yeah, and then also too what I did was I cleaned up with my favorite concealer under my eye which is the MAX concealer in NW40 and also too just to prime my whole eye I used the LA Girl Pro Concealer in shade Beautiful Bronze and you can see it's all flat now because I've been using it I have to like literally squeeze it out but that's what I did and I also set my eye because of course you have to set a liquid or a cream base with a powder and I use the Laura Mercier's translucent powder in shade D. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette which looks like this. So yeah, they're all pigmented. Um, I've been using this actual palette for like the past month or however long I've had it and I'm excited to try it and try to create a look for you guys actually. So I'm going to go ahead and use my favorite transition shade and that's the Anastasia Beverly Hill eyeshadow in caramel. It's broken up. I need a new one but I can't show you but I'm pretty sure you've seen in my previous videos if you watched them if you haven't. You can go watch, but um, yeah, I'm gonna use that shadow as a transition. I plan on making a nice wing so I'm gonna just drag out the eyeshadow to the edge so it's kind of like just following that I'm going to try to go in and use, and use this shade. It looks like a mustard kind of shade. I'm going to try to apply that outside of the transition. It's not picking up. Alright, so I'm going to try to apply it on top. Let's see if that helps. You can see it a little bit, right? On camera, it looks yellow, but then it also looks white. <laughs> so, it looks like nothing is even there. Okay, I feel like these eyeshadows aren't as pigmented as everyone says. I mean, it's my personal preference. I've seen reviews, but I haven't seen anybody with my complexion use it. Um, who said that it was really pigmented? I don't know. Now I'm going to go ahead and use this shade right here. And I'm going to apply it on top of the crease. And this is definitely like a nice brick color.
So now I'm going to go ahead and use this shade right here first. And then I'm going to go ahead and use this shade right here after to apply it. Just to make my crease really dramatic and smoky. Okay, so the eyes are just fake smoked out, I guess you want to say. So now I'm going to go ahead and use my MAC Paint Pot and lay in low. And I'm going to carve out my lid. Now remember, they're not twins, they are sisters. So, <laughs> looks like this one is more high up than this one. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use most of the colors that I showed you. And I'm going to create an ombre eyelid. So the first eyeshadow I'm going to use is... This one, and I'm gonna smoke out the outer corner of my lid, which is here, and bring it in. Then I'm gonna focus on this one here, from three fourths of the outer corner in. And then the middle one, I'm going to do this shade right here. Inner corner, I'm gonna go ahead and use this shade here. So my battery's dying, if it cuts off, I will be back. So, my camera died of course, as you know. Um, I have to do better. I have to get more batteries because this is outrageous. I can't, it takes me forever to film because the camera keeps dying and whatever. That's none of your business, obviously. As I was trying to create a look, I actually came across my phone and um, I screenshotted a lot of eye looks. I was just going through it to see, you know, what kind of look I wanted to do, recreate, or at least remix it. And I came across an eye look that I saved here and I was just like so obsessed with it. And I said, please, 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 Khadija, recreate this look ASAP. So I came across this look. And I don't know if you can see it. And this is the look that I came up with. I did one eye just to show you how it looks. And I'm going to just go ahead and create this on camera. And also I just set the base of my face. So let's get into it.
All right, so now that I've placed my eyeshadow on my lid, and as you can see, it's more of an ombre. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use my Inglot gel liner in number 77. It's the jet black eyeliner. It glides on perfect. And I'm also gonna go ahead and use my NYX Studio Liquid Liner in the shade Extreme Gold. I'm gonna place that on top of the black gel liner. Now applying gel liner is so difficult, okay? So I'm gonna be quiet while I apply it. Okay, okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use the same eyeshadow, of course, for my bottom lash. And I'm gonna go in with that mustard color under my lid. For some reason, I feel like it doesn't pick up. like these eyeshadows do not pick up at all. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my Marc Jacobs mascara to coat my top and bottom lash. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and use my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. And also I'm going to go ahead and use my Max Blush and Raisin. I'm going to mix them two together so I can warm up my face. Basically, I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighter Palette. So it's this one and this one. Of course, I mixed it, so... I apologize, but I'm going to use those two together. Now to set my face, I'm going to be using the Mario Badesco Rose Water Spray. I'm going to go ahead and use my brush and just pat in the spread. So I'm actually going to use one of my favorite lip pencils, which is the NYX Espresso Lip Pencil. Yes. I'm going to be using my MAC lipstick in Lazy Lullaby. So it's like a lavenderish color. And then I'm going to go ahead and use Samantha by Buxom. And it's a lip polishing gloss. And it's really cool. So it has like a mint, some type of mint in it because it's like, it feels like Blistex, like a, a girly Blistex. I'm going to put on White Russian as well by Buxom. So this is the finished look. So if you like how I achieved this look, thumbs up this video, like, comment, subscribe, share. What else is new? <laughs> um, about this hair, I don't know if I told you, but this is a 360 frontal wig from Max Glam Hair. It's a Brazilian 20 inch wig. I didn't really cut my baby hairs. My baby hairs are really long, you can see.
I feel like this wig does shed a lot. Um, but I did talk to them and they did tell me that I wasn't supposed to comb. I guess, well, they don't recommend for me to comb the hair while wet. And they gave me some techniques to maintain the hair. If you look at the ponytail, it's really thin. If anybody knows me, they know I love thick hair. I love like four to five bundles on my head. Like, yes. So this is kind of really thin for me. So I'm trying to, you know, maintain it. But if anybody was asking about my hair, Max Glam hair. Thank you so much, and I love you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.